Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Sign Scorpio, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. Uh, with that said, if you are a continued subby, you know Raffi loves you. And if you are new to my channel, sorry. Um, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your um, key to the week this week is the strength card, which means you are summoning all of your inner resources this week, Scorpio. What is it that you need to get done? Um, for a lot of you, I kind of feel like this is something that you are, it's almost like it's something that you've already figured I need to do this, I will need to do this, I'll need to do it soon, or it's something that you know has to be done, but you're kind of like in two minds about it. Like, where am I going to fit this in? Or how am I going to have this conversation? Or, you know, how am I going to make this approach? The strength card always suggests that we have the courage and the strength that we need on the inside. We just need to put it into practice. So in some way, shape or form, this week you are going to have to put... Uh, metaphorical foot to butt all right so whatever it is you have the strength you have the courage I mean you're a Scorpio hello <laughs> you know you guys you, one of I think one of if not the strongest sign of the zodiac Shh, I won't tell anyone you know a lot of people don't like to admit that but yeah for your actions and options this week you have the six of pentacles so when it comes to your money your finances what you pay what percentages uh, need to be looked at or anything of that nature to be fair whether this is that you don't feel like you're being paid enough whether it's that you don't feel like you're being compensated enough for what you do or what you give um, maybe you are considering this week as well that uh, somewhere where you are paying for a service maybe you're not getting what you paid for the six of pentacles suggests that there's something unbalanced about your finances and this week because you've got the strength card you have the strength and the grit to maybe have the tough conversation in order to say well actually you know this is what I need to look at there's something here that really suggests um what's the word that I'm looking for there's something here that suggests a recalibration of sorts um which I you know is not necessarily a bad thing now another way that this could play out as well this could literally be something that's very dear to your heart uh, like a charity this could be you working on with or uh, for a charity in some way shape or form maybe you're putting on an event maybe you're doing a fundraiser there's something here that suggests that you're giving to uh, parties that are maybe less fortunate than yourself like you're doing things for others um, um, with your uh, communications and conversations you've got the seven of swords um, this card is, is I mean if you, you guys have been with me long enough you know I hate this card um, <laughs> hates a very strong word but I really don't like it just because of everything that it stands for um, one of the things that I will say to you your seven of wands at uh, seven of wands seven of swords this week you need to be as honest and open and clear in your communication as possible regardless of what comes back you know even if you, somebody if somebody says something to you and you know that they're lying or you think mm, I'm not sure that's true or maybe you're being disingenuous you have to have the courage not to get on that train with them right let them charge off into the distance you know spouting whatever rubbish it is that's falling from their lips it's not your circus it's not your monkey um you know whatever the 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 saying is you i'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but you get it, right? Um, for those of you that work for somebody else, this week I would be very, um, very cautious of the water cooler talk, as they say, you know, or, um, you know, the office politics, all of that kind of stuff. There's a lot of stuff this week I would say not to get involved in because it is the Seven of Swords, which means somewhere the information that's floating around is incorrect. And the chances are at some point, if you take it for gospel, it's going to bite you in the ass because you're going to end up having to have another really tough conversation. For those of you that are uh, working for yourselves, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs. Um, what I love about this <clears throat> 
is that you are ready to have said conversation. Outside of that, again, just be sure that if there are any works or collaborations going on, that you have everything straight. Because, uh, you know, the Seven of Swords can sometimes see things twisted. And on that front, if you do work for yourself, it may be one of those moments where, um, maybe even somebody doesn't necessarily or purposely mislead you it's just that the information that they're giving you they genuinely think is correct um you know and that could kind of stand for those of you that work for somebody else as well but just so just keep that in mind and then for those of you that are retired or no longer working for any reason um this week just be sure that you have your facts straight because it looks like you could be charging off in a direction and you, you know, you you might be like, no, no, this is definitely a square. And then you look again, and it's like, oh, okay, it's more of an octagon. But hey, um, just be sure that the info. And again, it's almost like you guys are going to go off on on a specific direction, but it's based on information that you've been given, and the information is incorrect. Doesn't necessarily say that you've actively been lied to, but the information is definitely, it needs to be vetted somewhere. For your money and materials, you have the Six of Swords. We've got two sixes here. So something about the money and something about your actions is being uh, balanced out this week, right? Because you've got the two sixes. This could also be a week as well where you need to consider that there may be some irritability flowing, floating around. Um, and you, I don't know, it's, it's almost like there's a feeling of friction here and it's not coming from you. So one of the things that I probably want to say to you is remember that this might be happening around you and not necessarily to you. Uh, when it comes to your Six of Swords, your money this week is definitely going to be, money's good this week. Um, but it's going to be steady, all right? It's just holding steady at where it is. There's no massive increase, but there's definitely no decrease. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, your skin, your nervous system, um, this week you really want to look after those, you know, find ways to pull yourself out of the maddening crowd, as they say. And then when it comes to your home and environment, well, again look it doesn't really look like your hoover it's like even like you're traveling this week uh very likely by car or to a body of water somewhere that there is like a a large lake it could be by the seaside you know all of that kind of stuff um but yeah i don't it's weird i don't see you necessarily spending too much time at home and if you are um much like the libras there's a lot going on that seems to be pulling your focus out of the home for your love and relations you have the knight of cups for those of you that are single there could be a declaration of love but remember you have this seven of swords involved in the mix um <clears throat> Just because you hear what you want to hear from the person that maybe you have a crush on, etc., doesn't mean that you don't need to vet the information. That might be where the challenge comes in. It's like, oh, you know what? I've wanted this person to, to, to ask me out on a date for the longest time, and then they do, and then you realize, actually, why are you asking me out on a date now after all this time? Do you know what I mean? There's something about it that needs to be questioned. Um, you know, not to rain on your fireworks. But just have your wits about you this week. It looks like you're going to need to. The other thing that comes up here as well, because um, I like the, the Knight of Cups, uh, but with the Seven of Swords, this could be like somebody that's a bit of a rake, to be honest with you, or, um, you know, whatever the opposite is for a woman. Um, for those of you that are partnered, married, relationship, uh, okay, so the Knight of Cups, great. The partner could suggest something this week. Let's go on the trip. Let's do this. Let's do this. And, you know, you could make all of these plans and then they realise, actually, I've double booked myself. Um, so just, again, be aware that your partner is really wanting to do something nice for you. But it looks like there's a spanner in the works somewhere where you're like, ah, oh, okay, this, this, ah, uh, shit. <laughs> um, but it could be quite endearing. Um, it, but it could also, you know, just as easily be quite frustrating because it looks like you may uh, you know make plans maybe you book holiday with work and stuff and then all of a sudden the trip's off um, so you just keep that in mind all right with that said I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff take care and I'll see you soon